Do you hate tying your shoes? Do you see people with design laces? Well, today I'm going to show you just how to do that. Stay tuned. Welcome. My name is Charlie Jenkins, and today I'm going to show you how to lace your sneakers. Today with me, I got a special guest, Darian. How you doing, Darian? I'm doing good, Charlie. How are you doing? Good. So, I got you here today because we both don't like tying our shoes. And mm. me personally, I'm a sneakerhead, so none of my laces I actually have to tie once I get them done. So, really? today yeah. I'm going to show you how to do like a special design on your shoes because I see that you, you just said recently you're getting into sneakers more. Yeah, I have just started buying me. Um, New shoes, new Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been I've been in sneakers for a long time. Air Jordan ones being my favorite Jordan. So mm -hmm. well, today I'm going to show you how to lace your sneakers. Step one, you're going to choose your sneakers. But today we're going to do this design right here. Mm -hmm. All right. The design that we're going to do is called a bar design. So as you see, you look at the laces, none of them are crossing. Yeah. It's all yeah, just straight, straight across. Line. That's why it's called the bar design. So. This is the design that we're going to do today. So after that, I'll show you how to do it. Um, if you really look at it, you can see the difference between all three of these, like mm -hmm. your basic designs, like your intermediate, because it's so easy. And this is sort of like an expert for someone who's been lacing for a long time. You see how you got your X? Yeah. You still got your bars that yeah. none of them cross underneath. So it's like a X bar, what they call it. So they'll be an easy design. All right, so now we're really just going to get into it. I'm going to show you how to do the bar design. All right, so, sounds good. Go ahead, take the laces out. See, normally when I'm done with it, I just cut them because I don't like that. I don't like this piece to be under my feet while I'm walking all day. Cause after oh, you be, you're able to feel it? Yeah, after a while it starts to get to you. Oh, yeah, I never had like <laughs> cool laces <laughs> like that. I always did the the bunny, um, bunny ears one. Yeah, I would say it started about my sophomore year in high school. I just, mm -hmm. I just hated tie shoes. So after a while I started, you know, learning how to do them. Yeah, I do have one pair of shoes that, like, if I leave them tied, I can still slide my feet in. Yeah. And those shoes are my favorite. That's what I be wearing all the time. I feel like after a while, you start, you get older and just be like, why do I got to tie my shoes every day? Like, <laughs> see, yeah, it's if a, I'm not wearing sneakers, part of life. I just wear my Crocs. I just slide my feet in and just go. Cause oh, I don't even have a pair of Crocs. When you don't tie your shoes, it seems so much easier. To save a little bit more time, I'm not going to take out the last one, but oh, as yeah. you can see, the basic, the first two holes, you know how it goes like that. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Yeah, I can do it up here. Look. Yeah, it's <laughs> side up. Like. Okay, with the bar design, it's a little intricate. So, you see how this one goes through the first one, yeah. but I don't have it going through the second one. Mm -hmm. And this one right here, it goes through the first one, but it goes through the second one. That's going to yeah. help you create your bar design. Okay, yeah, I can, so, I can see that they're both like coming out yeah. the left. You see how that's coming out the left, and then this one's coming out the left exactly. one also. So the main key thing is you have to go underneath. Mm -hmm. Then you got to go in and out, not out and in, but you got to go in and out. So with this one, we're going to skip a hole. Uh -huh. And what you do is you come through. And is that the, the right piece? Okay. Yeah. And then you fold it over. That's going to okay. create your bar design. So this one, how you see, you saw how I just went like that. Mm -hmm. So this part, this one, you go over the top because all your bars are going to be over the top. None of them are going to look like they're going underneath. So what you do is put the slide. See? You over, yeah. Got your first two holes. All right. So what you're going to do next is with this one, like I said again, go over the top. So, interesting. I'm, I'm looking at it like so intently because I'm trying to figure out how they're not crisscrossing. So, as you see, this one just went through like this. Uh -huh. What you do is, how uh, this bar went over next. What you're gonna do is, cause you gotta alternate with each one you go. Yeah. So this time. Now you see, this the one that skipped the hole. Yeah. Now this side, this one that's gonna skip the hole. Oh, okay, so you skip the so hole and then come back to it with the other yeah. shoelace. So, I see it now. This one, you're just gonna go to the next one. Stick it though. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. They just go right on over. So. To the hole that you just skipped? Yeah. This one? Okay. Good. Like I said, it's intricate. Mm-hmm. Each side, you're going to take turns skipping a hole and allowing the lace to come through for the bar. Yeah, so you skip this one and then. Yeah. So this one was the last one, so we just skipped this hole because this lace was already there. Mm-hmm. So, and on this side, you also skip the hole. Because once you do this, you want to cut through, and you're going to fill out that hole right there. Okay. Right there. So would you skip a hole now, if you don't mind if I grab the sheet? Yeah, you fine. Would you skip a hole now with this one and like come right here? Yes. So once you do it, you can go ahead and you know, put, put it in this one through way. here. Okay. Oh, I did yeah. it. Yeah, it's pretty simple because at the end of it, they're all going, they're both going to finish on the same side. What uh, you don't want to do, you want to let them all just come underneath, so uh-huh. it makes it easier so that it don't oh, so show it doesn't on top. Get stuck to the, down yeah. there. So since you did that one, what you do now is you take this one and you can bring it through this side right here. This is the one I just did, right? Or yeah. So you take this one. Now you're gonna skip hole on this side, so you can bring this one through this side. Now you put it through the other way. No, 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 uh, other way, the other way. The other way? Yeah. Because you're starting to get to the top now, through this way. Oh, OK. Because okay. you still want this to hide underneath the shoe so that no one can see that. OK. And then this one goes through this hole? Then you put it through this one. Oh. No, 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 no. That's the part that's, the part that's going to trick you up. Yeah, because we were just doing over the top one on yeah. down here. All right, so what you do now, you can bring that over the top and you put it in through this side. All right. The other way. Yeah. Let's see. Now this. Right. See how you got your main bar set up? This one that I just did? Yeah. Okay. No, actually, you know what? You was right. I messed up. That was my fault. See, even after a while, I still, it takes me a minute. So, okay, so watch this one. Okay. That's the main part. So, right. oh, right. now over this one, the only thing you want to do is bring it in and just put it in through this side. The bottom hole? No. And then? You come out the other way. Come out the other way? Yeah, and then put it in that way. All right. Usually what I do is I cut my laces. But mm-hmm. like for right now, this moment, we can just tuck them in, and then we'll worry about the cut part. So what you'll do is with this one, Mm-hmm. You bring it on the inside first. On the inside of that over. Yeah. Then you bring it over. And put it in on the outside. On the outside? Yeah. Okay. For right now, we can just go ahead and just tuck just them tuck into them. the shoe. Because usually, like I said, I cut them. Mm-hmm. But as you see, this is your simple, easy bar design. They don't cross over. They're all straight. It makes it look like, okay, what type of laces do you have? Yeah, exactly. Everyone knows your lace what, is going to do the little X through each one. That's what so I always like thought, like, like where was the top piece of the lace at? <laughs> now, important thing is, after you do this design, uh-huh. what you want to do is you want to put your shoes on and make them work because, you know, say you cut them and you put them on, and you put your shoe on and just burst your laces out. Mm. You got to get a correct measurement for your foot first and everything, so, you know. You yeah. got to measure, then you could cut them after you put them on and measure. I was going to ask you, um, how do you know, like, if this is too tight or too yeah. too loose on your foot. The easy way is just put them on and then you can just go ahead and cut them out once you're done. Cut them afterwards Yeah. So, and adjust it accordingly. Yeah. Today I showed you how to do a bar design, which is right. probably the easiest design for like beginners designing. So, you know, yeah, I say just time keep I thought, trying this. Every yeah. time that I thought I had, I was like, okay, he went over, it was the other way. So yeah. it is pretty intricate. I know if we was to do this one, now that'd be, yeah. I'd be here for some minutes. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us today. Today I showed you a simple design called the bar design to learn how to lace your sneakers up a little better so you don't have the time. And thank you for Darian for joining me today and learning how to lace your sneakers without having to do the whole crisscross mm-hmm. applesauce with them. And <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having me. You're welcome. But yeah, this-